right. So you should have listened to the biography, Martin Luther King Jr. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture and write about the main idea. And we will provide three details that support the main idea. So here's what the worksheet looks like. And of course, I'm not going to put it on... Um, I'm not going to, you know, give you a paper uh, ride printout just because I think that it's a little bit easier if I'm sorry, let me go ahead and get this just to where I want it to be. Yeah, I believe that it's a little bit easier for you to just paste or I'm sorry, um, type in the last little part here. But you are to discuss with your parents the main idea and then a detail that would support it. OK, so let's get back here. It says. Write the title, and I did it for you, Martin Luther King Jr. It was a biography. And what was the story mainly about? Well, you know, there was a lot in that story, but what I would say it was mainly about was why we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I said that because at the very beginning, it starts out with a parade, and it talks about all the unfair and unequal rights that he had. And then his mother explained to him, hey, don't let that change how you think and feel. You are you deserve just as much as anybody out there. And so he made that decision that, hey, she's right. I'm gonna fight for that. And so then he moves on to telling people about it in the story, it moves on to, to explain how he tells people about it and how they, won't sit on the bus anymore. They quit taking the bus, how they sit in restaurants, but they don't speak. And the different actions that he encouraged others to do to help gain equal rights. And at the very end, you see them at the parade. So we know that this whole thing is about why we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So we have to get details from the story. And I went ahead and I pulled out some details and I'm going to talk to you about them. OK. So one of the main details and I kind of combined two of them that I got was that he couldn't play at the same park or drink from the same water fountain. And that was in the story. And that was a detail that's going to support why we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day, because if he would have been able to do those things, he wouldn't have needed to fight for equal rights. OK, another detail from the story about why we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day is because he told people you are as good as anybody and they fought for equal rights. If Martin Luther King Jr. hadn't have told those people that, Nobody would have fought for equal rights. Nobody would have stood up. Maybe another man would have or another woman, but it wouldn't have been Martin Luther King if he didn't make that choice. So I know that this story is about why we celebrate Martin Luther King Day, because the story tells us that he told people you are as good as anybody and it encouraged them to fight for equal rights. So I want you to think about one other thing in this story that happened that helps you to know that what this is the main idea of the story is why we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I want you to put that detail here. OK, so I kind of gave you something from the beginning and the middle. And then, of course, a detail from the end. And always I try to use main details. And if it seems like there's a lot of details, I try to combine it into one sentence. This way I'm putting my thought of everything that I thought felt that, that everything that I believed that made that sentence the best to fit the main idea why we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So talk about it with your parents. Talk about, go back in the story, look at it and think about what's one more detail that supports our main idea that the book is about why we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. All right. I hope that you really enjoyed listening to Martin Luther King Jr. And um, go ahead and reread it if you need to. Can't wait to see what you put. Bye.